I bet you didn't know this about long COVID PEM and POTS. We have this hair-like structure that makes up our endothelial cells, your blood vessels. This hair-like structure has a negative charge to it. And red blood cell, the erythrocytes, they have cholesterol sulfate on them that also have a negative charge. Those two negative charges repel each other, allows red blood cells to go through quickly. When you lose that glycocalyx layer, it leaves you predisposed to all these conditions. So your tight junctions can open up in your blood vessels and immune cells can get through, like macrophages. See this here? You get platelets sticking to here because platelets are negatively charged, but you lose that negative charge of the glycocalyx. Your blood brain barrier has a glycocalyx. Your gut cells also have a glycocalyx. And what this causes is called junction dysfunction. The tight junctions between your blood vessels and your brain, your gut junctions, those all get leaky, your kidneys. Also, when you lose the glycocalyx, you lose the ability to do vascular adaptation. So what is happening here is a normal, healthy microcapillary at homeostasis. And you have these reserve capillaries. And when you stand up or exercise or go in a hot shower, it uses the reserve capillaries. But if you have damage to your glycocalyx, this, these, let me try to point with my finger while I want to show. The glycocalyx, when those break down, it causes destruction of these capillaries. And so at homeostasis, your heart rate would be elevated because your red blood cells are shooting through extra fast. And over here, same thing. When you stand up and you do some type of adaptive thing or it should be adaptive thing like going into a hot shower, it shoots through even faster and your heart rate speeds up. You, you get tachycardia and you pass out. Follow for more information about long COVID, PEM, POTS, mitochondrial dysfunction, all those jazz.